Hello everybody, Steve Hudson here. In this video we're going to look at licensing the Cisco Viral Server. Now for this video we already have Cisco Viral installed and we're at approximately step 9 in the instructions provided by Cisco. So what we're going to do is go ahead and log in to our console. Now the first thing I'm going to do is correct this time down here. So I'm going to go to the terminal. I'm going to issue a dpkg-reconfigure tz data. Now you'll need to do that as sudo. So sudo. Now what that's going to do is launch this GUI here. Then we're going to change our time zone and New York. Alright. So we see my time didn't update yet. So what I'll do is sudo mtpd dash gq. What that should do is force the time to update. Now this is not required, this is something I just wanted to do so I am not confused. Okay, that should update in a moment, so I'm going to close that out. Now we will need to get the IP address of where our viral server is located. So they provided a utility on the desktop, so we'll just run that. And mine is at 10.2.150. So we'll just open up a web browser, which I've already done, and go to 10.2.1.50. Now you'll put in your IP address there, of course. Okay. So the first thing we need to do is log into User Workspace Management. And we will use the, pass, the username uwmadmin. And the password is password. Okay, so once we go in here, we're going to check salt status. And reset keys and ID. Okay, so here's where the licensing file that you obtained from Cisco is going to come into play. So what you'll need to do for the salt ID and domain is put in the Let's see, the name and domain. So basically the first part of the file name. So I'm gonna put mine in. One delta seven try zero box trot six. Okay, put in my email address and for security, I'm going to take this off screen for a moment. Okay, we're back. Now what I did was filled out all of the information as provided in the documentation. And it looks like I got a good activation here. So everything's green and I have a good last successful contact. It expires in seven days and I have allowed node count of 15. Okay, well that about does it for my licensing portion of the video. If you follow the instructions and you got a good contact and node count, then you should be good to go. So stay tuned for my future videos where we're going to install VM Maestro and get some labs going. Thanks for watching.